Beautiful. Okay, guys. My name is Kale, I'm the community manager here at Good Ghosting. Thank you for joining us for the February community call. Um, this is scheduled for an hour. We may end a little bit early and that wouldn't hurt my feelings, but we will not run late. We have plans for that uh, preceding hour there. And so stick around with us. We have a lot of information to unpack. I do have an agenda. And so if you wanted to drop that link into your address, you can follow along directly, but I will be screen sharing this as well. Let me go ahead and get everything started here. Dun, dun, dun. Okay. You gotta hear my keyboard on fire. And here we are, share screen. This one right here is the magic ticket and we're gonna get this day started. We did pick some alternate hours to address this time. We're been a little guilty of uh, appealing to the US EU hour band and we wanted to appeal to the Asian US market a little bit. So if these are helpful hours to you, please let us know. We wanna make sure that we're trying to serve our entire community and Web3 is a global place. And so thanks for hanging out with us. And so you'll see this presentation here. Let me just make sure that the recording looks good. Agenda's on, we're on timeline, beautiful guys. And so, like I said, thank you for joining us. This is the Good Ghosting Community Call for February. This will be today's agenda. And we'll go through just the highlights of what we'll be covering today. Um, we'll be greeting everyone and getting the recording going here, going through what Good Ghosting is. Many of you guys are familiar with our platform but we have lots of new faces coming into the Discord server every day, lots of new followers on Twitter, lots of growth happening. And so we wanna make sure that we take the time to let people know what the basics are as well here. And so then we will review the ongoing pools that we have wrapping up in case you're already in an active playing game, some tech updates as well as some stats. And then we have two very special guest speakers with us today. We have someone representing the CELO Foundation and someone also from Team Avagachi on Polygon. We'll wrap all that up with a nice bow at the very end, give it a conclusion, have some time for some Q&A, and I do believe that there's some kind of a special treat possibly at the end of this situation. So make sure you're sticking around with us. Okay, so what is good ghosting? Good ghosting is best explained with a small video that we have put together here. If you have not checked out our YouTube channel here lately, it is worth checking. We have updated quite a bit of material there and I will let a small introduction video do the speaking for me here. Um, volume check here, I am playing it through my sound mic. So if the volume differential is different, just pay attention as I turn this on. Hey guys, this is Kale at Good Ghosting. Let's get to the fundamentals. What is good ghosting? In the simplest answer, good ghosting is a social savings game using decentralized finance on blockchain networks. In a more elegant description, good ghosting is our solution to two problems, boring savings and social disappointment. We solve the first problem by encouraging the development of regular healthy savings habits. We create large group deposit pools on decentralized finance platforms such as Aave on Polygon and Moolah on Celo. These large pools generate more meaningful interest than individuals would receive on their own. Users remain successful winners by maintaining regular timed deposits in these pools. This is the smart part of the game. Build good habits, stay a winner. We solve the second problem by finding benefit in the social disappointment that occurs when people let you down. When they say they'll be there and they aren't. When commitments are not held up. When you get ghosted. It feels bad. We solve this problem by holding those ghosts accountable for their initial promise to finish a game. The ghosts that occur along the game are able to withdraw their entire deposit, though without additional interest or rewards when the game is over. In this way, good ghosting is a no loss savings game. Even if you fail to complete the game, you will never leave with less than initially deposited.
We believe that these two solutions, when executed with safe, smart contracts and a dedicated team of builders, do what has been a long time coming. This is the way to end boring savings. Thank you for listening, and we hope to see you in the pool. Okay. Thank you for hanging out with me through that one. So it's just one of many of what we call the good ghosting players guides. Those are just little instructional videos broken down into small operations. So that way, if you sit through the whole playlist, you will be a dedicated DeFi pro by the time that is done. And so just in a verbal review there, um, what good ghosting is, it's a social savings game. You're entering a large pool, making regular deposits. The interest builds up as you make those regular deposits. If you outlast other depositors who miss those intervals, you will have access to their generated share of the interest. Everybody walks away with the same amount that they deposited initially, but the whole name of the game is dedicated DeFi habits and hitting your regular intervals. Okay. We do have quite a few pools wrapping up. This is a very, very busy time for good ghosting. We, we ebb and flow in phases. And so we are entering another really busy phase in our operations. And so if you're an active player right now, there's lots of things going on. The Are We Ready pool operating on the CELO network, that, that will be ready for full withdrawal February 16th. Game waiting period is over and you'll be able to take those funds out February 16th. Same exact day for the Unstoppable 2022 pool. And that one's operating on the Polygon side. The Celebrate monthly pool, you may have forgotten about. This is one of the longer games that we've had, monthly deposits for two months in a row. And so it has snuck up on you and uh, will be a nice gift on Valentine's Day. February 14th, withdrawal is ready for that. Last but not least, the Long Hash Accelerator pool. That one is not anywhere close to done, just getting started. But the next round deposit will be opening up February 14th. So do be aware of that one. I'm gonna check my notes here real quick because I wanted to mention with the Are We Ready pool, we do have our sponsors with RE Swap, Celostrials as well, and Nom Space. And so we do appreciate those pool sponsors for that pool. And then Unstoppable pool was sponsored by Unstoppable Domains, fantastic NFT naming service operating on Polygon now as well. And um, co-sponsored with Matic Mike, Medic Mike is a play to earn competitive dancing game on Polygon that is fantastic. If you have not had the opportunity to check out that one yet, it's a fun situation. Think Zed Run, but uh, with, with little, little on chain dancers. Celebrate monthly pools coming out clean and easy. That'll be two large monthly deposits. And then the accelerated pool is still ongoing, um, but we do have some nice sponsors as well on that pool. Take a time check here at 710. We're moving perfectly. Let's see where we are at 710 is exactly right here. So we did want to go into a couple of our tech upgrades. There are some features coming every single day. Francis is part of the tech team here. Um, I'm spoiled rotten. I am surrounded by a team full of true builders, seven geniuses and me. And so all day I am professionally trained to uh, complement their good work. And so all I have to do is share with you what they're up to. And so the global login feature is now live. You can see that here in the upper left-hand box. This is going to allow you to land on the home page and use the connect button. You'll be able to hook into the network of choice that you're currently on. And then once you are logged in, there will not be a second need to have to log in if you were to switch networks. So you'd be able to log in uh, intending to touch a CELO game, take care of your CELO deposits, go back to the pools page, jump over to a Polygon-based pool, and there will be a hot switch button on there for you to just seamlessly switch networks without having to have a separate login. The token ad feature, you'll see that in the upper right-hand section here, and that is a hot link ad for the tokens specific to any single game that you're currently wanting to play in. And so the tokens that are used for that game are gonna be in that admin tab. And that is a new little section right there. Two other things here, we'll just demonstrate them both at once here, naming service integrations. We are now cooperating with Unstoppable Domains, Nomspace, and ENS. 
And so any of those popular naming services will be recognized if you have your wallets attached to those and you log into good ghosting. Pretty self-evident there, but we have also integrated the Avagachi profile picture for players profiles on the good ghosting platform as well. And so you'll log into the leaderboard or any specific game and you'll be able to see your gachi of choice. And so that's been something that I've enjoyed quite a bit. A little bit more on January stats, just some reference of perspective. Uh, you guys have really nice timing in terms of where good ghosting is headed. So the January community call, we had about 16,200 overall for player count about 5,300 on Polygon and about 10,008 on Cello. This is interesting to be a part of because we launched on Polygon in June, and Cello was later in September. And so Cello has shown a appetite for growth and has, has produced a, a very high player count for good ghosting, even though we all know that Polygon is very mature and developed at this stage. And so we're waiting to see that Polygon second surge show up as we are able to better introduce ourselves to the ecosystem where we grew up. And so just from the January to February call, we've seen a 37% increase in the Polygon player count, 21% increase in the Cello count, pushing us over the 20,000 mark overall. 1.43 million of value saved. We're a little bit different of a protocol. We are not TVL based, we're TVS, total value saved. And that's because these are your deposits. You get these back when our pools are done. It doesn't stay in our accounts. It doesn't stay in our contracts. It doesn't require it to be out of your wallet and in our custody. It's something that is your funds. You're saving money against yourself, essentially. And so what we count as our metric of success is how many people and how much they've been able to keep in their own pockets just by playing some simple games. Last but not least is what we've been up to on our side. And this is essentially my job, right? And so I've been warming up. I've been getting a lot more in tune with the ship at the helm. This is the third month now in the position and I've been enjoying every minute and learning the opportunity and pleasure to be given the task of making good friends and partnerships and just expanding the good ghosting mission. And so we had about 200 tweets out there, about 550, 560 new followers, 884 mentions crazy Twitter analytics here, 65.7 thousand profile visits are what produce those other three metrics. And so you can see the rate of conversion in there. And so that's the goal here is to just increase the signal, decrease the noise, make sure that our communications are coming through uh, meaningfully, deliberately, and, and, and in useful ways that make it to where our users and community are excited to hear what we have to share with them and are, are waiting for that next drop. So we're going to keep building on that momentum for February. Um, we have the things that we're in control of like this, and then we have the things that we witness. And so we will be talking about work that we witness when we have other speakers, and this will be kind of segueing us right in. And so at this point, let me make sure she's unmuted and has the opportunity to have the floor. We are joined by Ms. Mila Rioja from the CELO Foundation. All righty, I'll mute you there. Yep. All right. You win. All right, Camilla, how are you doing today? Awesome. Good morning, everyone. It's actually a good night for me. I'm based out of Sao Paulo, Brazil. So it's 11 p.m. here. Uh, my day is just finishing while yours is kind of starting. So uh, pleasure to be here. Boa noite. <laughs> Boa noite. <laughs> yeah, that's what we're like. That's a good night in Portuguese, <laughs> guys. <laughs> There you go, guys. And so if you're unfamiliar with CELO Foundation and, and what C-Labs does over there, these guys are built on a really multinational angle. And I'm learning a lot about the world by learning more about CELO. How long have you been with the team? Yeah, thank you very much for the opportunity of like bringing all these concepts to life. So I joined uh, first with uh, C-Labs. So C-Labs is like... Uh, um, a software and business development company that is part of the ecosystem of Celo. Celono has three, over 300 dApps or so built on it uh, and working on Celo and C-Labs is one of those. So I started at C-Labs around like nine months ago. Uh, and after that, I was invited to join the foundation starting as of uh, January. 
It's been uh, nine months so far, and I was part of the team who led the initiative of the third stable asset of Celo, which is Celo Hell now coming to life. Uh, for those of you who don't know Celo just yet, Celo is a layer one mobile uh, first uh, blockchain that has this aim of making uh, DeFi accessible to everybody uh, through different methods and shapes. But I'll let maybe uh, uh, you guide me on this uh, presentation. Not at all. No, I'm trying to keep up with you. You're, you've got a lot of energy pent up in you right now. And so that's what's so neat to hear is, is, is to be part of the creative team introducing like fundamental assets. And so I, I've just been learning about the project from a total outsider's opinion and have been pretty blown away at the level of response that I've seen on the Celo blockchain uh, accepting Serial and the excitement that I'm seeing for this. And so this is a pretty important project, is that fair to say? Yeah, and maybe I can share a little bit of the background, uh, my background, the Brazil background, and how this came to life. So I don't know how familiar all of you are uh, with Brazil, but it's a very interesting country. In terms of like size and opportunities, it's 205 times the size of Switzerland. I like to say that because it gives a little bit of perspective of like how big we actually are. And usually, of course, when everybody talks about Brazil, we think about like the Amazon rainforest and that's fine. But the Amazon rainforest is one out of five biomes that we have here. That means five totally different ways of like dealing with the nature and uh, like animals and uh, flowers and plants and how they organize themselves. So you can expect this to be a very vibrant country, uh, except from all of these natural beauties that we have. Brazil is now leading what we call the unicorn race in Latin America. Out of less than 30 uh, unicorn uh, companies around here, Brazil has given birth to over 21. So it's a lot, right, comparison to all of the others. Last year, uh, in the first six months of 2021, over $5 billion were introduced in the community as part of like startup investments. So this is what we're living here in Brazil. And some of you may be asking, so why Brazil? Was, why Celo Real? Why the third stable coin right there? So this is some of the elements. And I would add on top of that, like uh, some extra things. One, like Brazilians in general, they're very prone to crypto. Uh, you can see that from like uh, how this community has grown uh, in Brazil. I'm sure if any of you doesn't know any Brazilians just yet, <laughs> and you get into the Sala forum and you post anything like, I'd like to, you know, be a Brazilian and understand what's going on. You're going to see like the power of the Brazilian community and how we like to engage. Other than that, there are also some uh, very like specific things like Brazil has a very interesting approach to crypto from incumbent companies and from the government. On the 11th this month, the Brazilian Central Bank has invited like different companies to present Brazilian and foreign companies to present DeFi solutions just so they can learn what they can do with their CBDC if that comes into place. So that is one thing. So uh, I think we can play with this idea of uh, why Brazil from the community standpoint, but also from the market and the regulatory standpoints. And maybe the last point that I would like to do on the like, why Celo Real and why all of this right now, it had to do a lot of like with um, commitment from the community and interest. So you can see that there was like several posts on the forums of people saying there was an avocado at the time who said we really need a Brazilian stable hell because of like everything that we can do with it. And uh, uh, this is how it all started. That's amazing. I think I'd heard numbers that something like 30% or so of Brazilians might be involved with crypto and, and just compared to the distribution of users. It's crazy number, right? So this is actually like a report by Visa. While you make another question, I can go very quickly, get the link and just post it right here. It's 30% of course of the sample of individuals that they did interview, but it's a huge 
number. Some of the uh, local exchanges here, I'm not talking, I'm talking about sex. I'm not talking about tax, right? So it's centralized right. exchanges as we call it in here. Uh, and they're going to have over 1 million, 2 million users. And I'm talking about like something that you probably never heard of because it's a local Brazilian company. So this is how much like uh, crypto is already into like the daily lives of Brazilians. And of course, we can talk a little bit about like the use cases for Salahel and also like we, what we call like the first cohort or the early adopters of Salahel uh, into this, which you were part of. So uh, let's make sure we, we maybe spare some time for that. Oh, absolutely. I mean, heck, we got late. That's what I do all day long is talk about what we're doing. This is what's unique is I get the opportunity to, to talk from who's doing the real work. We're a, we're a money Lego. And so we, we are built upon the playground that fundamental projects like you guys are, are building. And so it's it's a pleasure to hear what you're doing. Is this one of your is this your largest project that you've personally been involved with yet? Yes, and it's also the one I like the most. Uh, and I'll tell you the reason for that. Um, when we talk about crypto, uh, there is a very interesting thing, which is like cash in and cash out, right? Of course, we want everybody to like experience with DeFi and the crypto like natives, they're very aware of that. But think with me, we have here over 200 million people in the ratio of like almost two point whatever cell phones, not per person, but for like individual, right? Because we know how like differences are. Some people may have like five phones and some other none, but like this is the breakdown for it. And Brazilians, they're very prone to technology and to internet. I'll just make like a very silly comment, but this is part of the Brazilian culture. Uh, once at a time, we like as a community, we organized to vote for the best goal and we made somebody like a, a nobody win the best goal out of Cristiano Ronaldo, just out of how much we voted online. So this is the aim that and the drive that Brazilians have towards like uh, uh, internet stuff. So, and I'm seeing a little bit of like the comments here, where could I buy Cello Hell? And this is exactly what I wanted to talk about. So nowadays in Brazil, we have so many cash in and cash out options. Uh, and this is the good part of it. So there are three exchanges, three wallets, and one debit card that are supporting Cello Hell. This is massive. Yeah, and it's less than like around one month that this has gone live. So we are super happy because if you think about like three different ways of using stable assets, one we love, which is DeFi, but we need to start somewhere to get to DeFi, right? And some people may do, may have to do the onboarding because they may not be crypto natives. And there are three exchanges and three wallets that are able to do this for individuals here in Brazil. And one card that is owned by one of these exchange companies here in Brazil. Some of these partners, they are still finishing their integrations to make this available for the community. I can also share a link where you're going to find all of the names for these partners and, and very easily, you know, Google and have access to them. So this is the good part, KO, Francis, and all of the team in Good Coasting, six different ways and matters for uh, people to access uh, your assets. And let's say we all like join the pool, right? And we gather rewards and we want to spend it. This is the other cool thing about Salo Hell because two of the, out of like the, the card, two of these wallets, they also support like the integration with like the payment system and the banking system. So you can cash this out immediately to your bank account. You can also use like some of these wallets to like tap and pay to some pro payment processors. And you can That's also pay your bank slips. Like I pay my electricity bill with Celo. It's been a while now and a couple of months. So that's quite cool. These are American pain points. It took us forever just to get Polygon withdrawals. Celo is starting out this way natively. The, the hey, dap is massive. Or whether is better. Oh, I'm telling you, there's something, there's something special happening on Cello. That, that there's only good, good deliberate action happening right now. There's not a lot of fluff. It, it is sheer, sheer innovation at this stage. 
well done. Yeah, and I see some people here like mentioning something that I love, which is uh, Aislinn Radish, he said, I love a cereal. And that's exactly one thing that I found that it's very cool because Brazilians like at large, these 200 million people, they don't say like BRL as we would say, like looking at a ticker on an exchange. Why they don't do this? Because how is not like a, a traditionally like a very, a coin that is a coin that is very prone to like investment, not as like a, a dollar or euro are to global standards, right? I'm not talking about Latin America because of course there are discrepancies. And this name, Salo Real, I think it really resonates with the locals because we all know what Real is, and also with the foreigners, right? Because who doesn't love cereal? Come on. It's a built-in meme. You've seen it. It's already going rampant. People are adopting it. This is crazy. I mean, I remember hearing about this project like a month ago and looking for the liquidity, right? Where, where was the liquidity going to come from? And, and you guys have launched like champs. It has, it has hit the ground running. Again, it's all about the community. That's what I say. Um, the, the local community is going to like define the use cases and the best way to use Salo Real in the upcoming months. But like, I think the whole like goal and great achievement of this is that um, this first cohort of like early adopters were able to allow the three main like verticals for uh, uh, anything like stable related you guys with DeFi, right this is amazing and you're going to explain everything that we can do with it and how we can make the pool and so on and so forth the other thing is like real world economy okay i got some awards in the pool and now i need to buy a brand or like pay my electricity bill or buy something nice how do i do it okay i have some ways to do this i can other use a card or I can use one of those wallets. And the other use case scenario is maybe I want to trade and I want to understand like my balances like in relation to some other assets and make all this trading, you know, more palatable for somebody who is not like dealing with dollars or euros every day. So I think it's all great. Our, our, our current crypto structure is pretty geocentric and, and we're spoiled in, in not knowing that perspective if you're already natively English USD based. Well, Camilla, that is fantastic. I, I do uh, have the next slide ready. And so congratulations if you're on this pool and you're listening and you're asking that question about how to go get some of that CRL. We are going to launch a pool directly after this call is concluded. That's the, the, the next date that Francis has. And so that's why we'll be prompt at that one hour mark. Make sure that he has the opportunity to deploy promptly. And we're going to have that pool coming open for you. The timing is aiming for right at the end of the hour for that pool to be going live. And so we are gonna do a dual pool. And so in case there is a, uh, a rush and all the real is getting snatched up or you just wanna take your time, you can save in the CUSD familiar as well. And so it's an either or option, but both of these are gonna be very long pools. We we're very uh, excited. These are some of our longest. We're gonna time this out to end with Carnival. And so the idea here is <laughs> April 19th. April 19th is going to be the withdrawal target on this, just in time for the parade. So Francis is pretty well tuned into the ground, and so he had some good timelines for us. Yeah, I love that. Come on, we have a lot to buy here, you know, uh, uh, right after that. <laughs> Especially, like, if, if it were before the carnival, we could buy the beers and everything that we need to, like, get the party going. But anyways, I wanted to, like, thank you, your support, you know, to Salo and to Salo Hell. This is very important for the local community, and we can see, like, the metrics of why it's important. So I would say one is like the amount of on and off ramps that we can see Two, maybe like the size of the community and how this has been like expressed by the adoption of like the different initiatives that we have. We have like cell channels now in Portuguese, whether it's like the Instagram, the Telegram, oh, sorry, the Instagram, the TikTok, uh, the LinkedIn, and whatever you're looking for, over 80 different media outlets in the whole world. They covered like this launch of Salo Hell with all of your names and also good ghosting on it. So I'm looking forward and thank you everybody who is watching this live and is supporting the, 
the moving forward of this new asset uh, on solo blockchain. There's a lot of can be done. There you go, guys. You heard it right from the source. She built it with her own hands. And so follow her on Twitter. She's got a great account. She's making things happen over there. And so if you want the alpha, pay attention to what she's working on. So we appreciate you so much, Camilla. We will be launching that pool right after here. Once again, in Sarah or in the CUSD. So you got your choices there. I'll have a pools page link up in the chat as well. So we'll move into that direction. Thank you again for being here. That was fantastic. Okay, now we, the beauty of good ghosting is that uh, this is a schizophrenic Web3 world and we can, we had to switch mentalities as easily as you can switch chains. And so we're going to switch over gears now and go over to our polygon half of the equation. And so I am looking for Mr. Jesse from Avagachi here. I'm going to go ahead and ask him to get unmuted and get him up here. So Jesse is one of the original summoners from Avagachi. And so that means he's one of the core members and kind of is responsible for this whole crazy madness that has been wrapping up a lot of my personal free time for the last couple of months. And so what do you have to say for yourself, Jesse? I'm really, really sorry about that, but there's going to be more addiction coming. So <laughs> we're just getting started in so many senses. Um, yeah, thank you for having me on. And I'm so glad you're enjoying the Avogachi experience. And um, everything you guys are doing at Good Ghosting aligns with what we're about. So um, it's just, it just makes sense that we're able to come together and do something together here finally. It's, it's perfect timing, I think. I can agree with that. This has been a conspiracy of mine in the background for a long time. And I will say for all you hopefuls out there, like I am not someone who's been uh, technically educated in Web3 and I have been in the space for a long time. I, I quit my good in real life job last September and took a shot. And if you spend all your time in this space, someone will finally pick you up off the corner. And so just be aware you can, you can make your dreams come true and tie everything that you love together. And so this has been the biggest development I think here lately for you guys, Jesse, is getting Ghost added to Ave. Is that fair? Yeah, that's fair to say. That was um, a long time in the making. And so now Ghost token, GHST, we call it Ghost. But um, for those listening, it's, it's spelled GHST token. Um, it's a very special token with very unique tokenomics. And uh, it runs on a bonding curve. It, um, it's partially collateralized by DAI, stable, stable coins. And um, we've, what, what that ends up being is um, there's an article out there we published about six months ago called the, K the DeFi case for Ghost Token. And um, that was kind of the beginning of the conversation about why this would be a great collateral on a lending platform like Aave. And um, yeah, finally, you know, these things take time. It's all decentralized governance. And it was a really cool example of Avagachi DAO working with another DAO, Aave DAO, to uh, realize this and get it listed so it's the first NFT token to be listed on Aave. It is the first cross-governance uh, multi-chain vote to happen with the Aave protocol. They actually had, because we're on Polygon, uh, we were listed on Polygon's Aave. Um, the first vote had to happen on layer one. And then there was like this whole process that literally took months to happen. But we we had some, um, we had Coder Dan, my co-founder, and we had... Um, a number of community members on both sides of both DAOs uh, really step up and, and put the time in to, you know, do the dirty work and, and make it happen. So super excited about that. It's, uh, it's great for Ghost. It's great for anyone who wants a, um, a collateral option that is really in a league of its own. It's, it's super unique and, and uh, I encourage you all to check it out. And um, what you just said about, you know, Web3 and getting involved in Web3, that that's close to me because um, I may, maybe I've been in the, the crypto space for five, six years now, full time, but Avogachi DAO has um, opened up so many opportunities for our community members. And a lot of them um, echo what you just said, which is like, um, they're getting involved in creating experiences on top of Avogachi um, or Polygon because of the education and the experiences they've had partially through Avogachi. So it's, it's really cool to see that um, and see the community be so robust and grow together. So one example of that would be, we, we're basically an open, for those who don't know, Avogadji is kind of like an open source uh, community created NFT protocol. So what that means is uh, these are like primitive, the Avogadji itself is like a primitive asset. And then people are able to build whatever they want around these composable NFTs and um, they're entirely on chain. 
And so one example is Gachi Vault. And this was a really cool project that some long, um, very active members in the community um, got together and over the last year have learned, you know, uh, Solidity and starts uh, writing smart contracts and actually went out, did the work, got it audited and issued their own uh, smart contracts to take deposits of Avagachi NFTs. Um, and what they'll do is they'll pet your Avagachi for you, which is pretty nice. If you know, uh, it's all about petting your Avagachi twice a day to uh, maintain its its uh, kinship score with you. And so they'll actually do that for you. And all of that le leads to earning XP by voting in the DAO. And um, so that's just one of many examples. I think they have over $10 million TVL now under the Gachi Vault, and it's only two or three weeks old. So that's another very exciting development that actually has nothing to do with me or Pixelcraft Studios, but with the community and the DAO, um, just self-organizing and building really powerful tools for the community. You didn't know you were building a lifestyle club the whole entire time, did you? Yeah, seriously. Yeah, it is. It is a lifestyle. It's, um, you know, if you ever uh, saw the the um, kind of chart for Ikigai, I think I'm saying it right, that Japanese idea of if you find your profession and your passion and something that can help other people and you put it all together, that's, that's your Ikigai. Um, Recently, I saw a, uh, a tweet go out from one of our uh, community members, and it was that same chart with an Avagachi in the middle. Yeah, no futuristic put it out. And I was like, yeah, that's that's um, really how I feel about it. Yep. Yeah, I think it's I think it's this Venn diagram chart you're talking about right here. Absolutely. It's just one of yeah. these situations. It makes you and when you. There's so many things that could be at the center of that, you know, that's a placeholder for, for perfection, quite honestly. And, and it's just, it's nice to see that got you in the center of that because it is, it's like my happy place. Exactly. And we're thrilled that um, the PFPs can be Avagachis on good ghosting. This is another uh, area where I think there's a lot we can do together to um, uh, make the experience even more robust. So we love the interoperability and, and connecting with other uh, like-minded projects. Mm -hmm. And let's be and, honest, and so, too, we're, right. we're, only, we're only talking about the, 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 the administrative enjoyments of Avagachi culture right now. You know, we, we're not even going to dive. We don't even have the time to dive into gameplay and the actual appeal of, of the real world interaction with the NFTs directly. You guys have built one of the best DAOs in the business, hands down. You know, I see plenty of protocols that have in their roadmap how they're going to even become a DAO one day. We've got an idea and you guys are, are long into success. We were the recipient of the process here recently with this good ghosting Avagachi DAO collaboration request. Overwhelming quorum, great community support. Very thankful for everyone that came out and supported on that. But it's just such a direct and 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 literal process. Gil and I sat down and wrote the proposal and put it out there. And four days later, we're having that next phase of the discussion because the community decided that they want to move forward. It, it went really fast, right? So you guys hit quorum so quickly. Um, you guys wrote up a, a, a kind of picture perfect proposal. You know, we have kind of our template and the right way to make a proposal and, and to outline the benefits, the risks, all of that. And people can go and see the discussions around these proposals at dao.avagachi.com. And yours is there, the good ghosting proposal. And yes, yeah, smash through quorum and uh, people are excited and, and totally on board with what you guys are proposing. So. Um, I think uh, it, it's, uh, it's a perfect fit for what we want to see the DAO um, getting behind. At the same time, when I say what we want to see, I guess I'm talking about me and Pixelcraft. At the end of the day, the DAO is, is really its own organism and its own entity. And um, it's great to see that um, on, a, on a level of like values, we're all on the same page. And so I think that's why that particular proposal just uh, had basically no resistance. People are really excited about it. When you mentioned with like the Gachi Vault and we're seeing the, ari the arising of all these different guilds and, and, and many communities are already branching out and there's no competition. It's all cooperation at this stage. Everyone's just looking for their tribe and, and you're seeing the social network already getting into place for a, for a thing that's still, once again, not even here yet. Like we are still waiting for this right here. I've been in the stress tests. If anyone's been following along, you've probably been lucky enough to see the stress test. But, but give us something to live on here. Give, pump the hopium a little bit. What are you thinking on timeline? 
Right, right. So for people who, just to clarify, the Avogachis have been around for about a year or a little over a year now. And um, I think of that as the intrinsic game. You can pet your Avogachi, you can take care of it, and it rewards you, right? Take care of your Gachi and your Gachi takes care of you. That's the, the primitive game, the, the core game. Now, what you're referring to is the Gachiverse, which is our upcoming metaverse. Um, and this is really the the flagship experience for everybody that has an Avagachi. So um, uh, I'm very happy to say we, we just came out of another uh, dev meeting with the, the core team building out the game and um, everything is on track. We're going to do a third stress test next week. I invite everyone to come check it out. Um, what that is, is it's actually like a, a dry run of the game. We get to uh, fill the world with hundreds, if not thousands of Avagachis and see how the system scales. Because ultimately, um, what we're shooting for is an experience browser-based where you're able to interact with all your Avogachis and uh, it's basically a farming DeFi RPG. And, and one thing we decided early on is we want everyone to be in the same world at the same time. The technical world would, word would be like the same instance. And uh, if you've been on some of these other metaverse games, they have a lot of good qualities, um, but one criticism or one pain point I see is most, most of them do not have the ability to support everybody being in the same instance. So you and I could be standing on the same street corner in this virtual world, but, oh, you're on instance two and I'm on instance six, and therefore we don't even see each other and we can't communicate with each other. Um, so we addressed that early on and we um, sought out some of the best talent we could find for scaling a browser-based game that would have everybody in the thousands, tens of thousands, all, you know, infinite scaling um, in one instance. And so I'm very happy to, to report we are uh, not giving up on that. And actually, in quite the opposite, we're completely on track to be able to um, have this awesome. kind of vertically and horizontally scaling system for everybody to be in one world together in real time. Well, and, and you, for those that don't know, Pixelcraft Studios is, is no joke, right? This is a, a large-scale operation. You guys uh, are focused. This is a deliberate team, a deliberate operation focused with one primary objective right now. And it's not new to the game. This isn't part of the game wave that's happening. These guys literally like wrote the book. This has been a long time coming, and it's a great platform that you definitely would probably enjoy taking a deeper look at. The wiki is very, very dense. Yeah, the, the wiki is great. And uh, when you say the book, um, I don't know if you did that on purpose, but it's literally now the Avagachi Bible. So the book, um, we're in chapter two. And instead of doing a white paper for the Gachiverse, we realized that our game design internal docs don't really function like a white paper. Like there's, there's iterations, there's a lot of material. Uh, it's more like a very large book with many chapters. So uh, about a month ago, we published chapter one of this thing called the Gachiverse Bible. And then uh, about a week ago, we published chapter two. This has all the tokenomics for all the four new play to earn tokens that are going to be in the game. You use those tokens to craft rare NFTs that you can then place on your parcel. They have real utility to help you upgrade your farming. If you think of like Clash of Clans, that might be a fair example, like your your gold mine, that kind of thing. Um, the difference is it's a real-time exploration game and you're encouraged to, to be extremely social and, and run around and look for surface level uh, of these tokens as well. So chapter three will drop in in a couple of weeks. And um, yeah, we, we, are, we wrote the book or we are writing the book, I think is a fair way to put it. And uh, we're just trying to be very authentic to Web3 and uh, the values that that has. And um, and the infrastructure we're building around, it has to reflect that. So um, we're pushing some boundaries with some pretty cutting edge um, scaling solutions that don't compromise that and uh, keeping as much on chain as absolutely possible. And that includes all the assets and all the characters and, and, and the land itself. So um, yeah, we're having a lot of fun. I can't wait to see good ghosting gang in the, in the gotcha verse. And I guess the last thing I can say about that is we're still on track for um, uh, uh, March. We wanna be out with the Gachiverse live in March. It's gonna be like everything we do at Avagachi, very iterative. The community mm -hmm. is building the game with us. So every chapter, the DAO actually gets to, to vote to confirm it as canon or reject it and uh, make modifications. So it's a really cool yeah. process. And if if you've ever wanted to build a video game, then just come hang out with Avagachi DAO because that's what uh, people are, are literally doing. 
you know, they're, they're having a blast. And we have some very talented people in the dial that um, may not be on pixel craft payroll, but they are contributing in so many ways and, and their X and their Avogachis are leveling up for it with more XP. If you want to see community done right, Avogachi is a, a wonderful benchmark. It's been one of my favorite experiences on a user level, as biased as can be. I am a gachi pilled individual <laughs> and, and mean every bit of it. And so you got to give me one piece of parting wisdom here, right? And so I've got the, the, the realm map in prospectus pulled up here. What is your favorite place on this map? Just on a personal level, not alpha, not quest, not importance. Right. Just what yeah. do you like? What, what speaks to you? So this is the world map, not just the Citadel, right? And so Correct. if if you're looking at the world map, when we launch in March, you'll be just in the Citadel, which is still a massive area. I mean, it's it's about 50,000 parcels and it's uh, walking on foot without any boosts or, or special equipment. You're talking about, you know, 30, 30 some minutes to cross it, I, I would estimate. So outside of the Citadel, my favorite has to be I don't know. In general, all the old school video games, all my favorite video games have a lava world and I'm a sucker for lava worlds. So volcanoes and stuff. So you'll find me over in that neck of the woods on the, uh, I guess it's the east side. Yeah. Yeah. Down in magma springs and Mount Oof, the infinity cliffs. Mount Oof. Yeah. I, gotta, yeah, I love I, Mount Oof. That's, that's the uh, onomatopoeia for FOMO, right? It's like a <laughs> F-O-M-O. <Ooh. laughs> I did. I'm telling you, this thing's filled with Easter eggs. It's, it's dripping. It's dripping in authentic crypto culture. It's just a very fun experience to be, to, to say the least. <laughs> I, I guess the one alpha, right? If people are listening, they're like, well, I don't have an Avogachi. It sounds neat, but what am I going to do? And we're going to launch it with, um, again, a completely on-chain solution called Gachi Lending. And I invite everybody to keep their eyes out for that because when we launched that, it's basically the sharing economy. We looked at you know Airbnb and, and Uber and your your ride shares, and it's going to be just like that. You're going to log in and say, "I just want to you know test drive an Avogachi today for for an hour," and there will be probably hundreds, if not thousands, of people willing to lend you their Avogachi in a completely on chain way. There's it's a trustless system. You don't need to do like the Axie uh, scholarship program. We, we want to abstract all those middleware layers away and uh, those background checks and all of that. This will be just like Uber and it's just like, yep, you've got it. The smart, smart contracts letting you play the game and do your play to earn and explore and be social for an hour or whatever the time limit is. And then it defaults back to the original owner. So that's coming soon. It, it literally will cost you nothing up front to, uh, to hop in the game and, and play with an Avogachi. So be on the lookout for that. I have people I'm already going to be putting on on my roster. I have five gotchis that need pilots. That's Jesse, a good thanks point. for that one, man. Like, the, you're exactly right. Like, there's going to be a place for everybody, right? There won't be a, a boring gotchi. There is no such thing as a bad gotchi. There's no, even the ones in the middle of the bell curve, they're still awesome in so many ways. So, could be the kinship, could be the XP, but um, it could be a good ghosting of a gotchi. There's stories behind them all. And so, yeah, super excited for uh, what's happening with Good Ghosting. Thank you so much for having me and um, can't wait to see the, the future of both projects and, and more ways to collaborate. There you go, guys. I promise you it's just the, the entrance of the rabbit hole. That one runs really deep. Oh my gosh, she's a personal favorite. I do have a message to send. Uh, if this isn't for you, don't worry about it. Okay, don't ask questions, but moo, 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 moo. So that, that is a, a signal for somebody there. So let's move on to our moments of our, mo <laughs> our moments of reflection here. Let the alpha settle through you because this is a lot of stuff on this call for sure. And I it went as well as I'd hoped. So just the takeaway points, right? Say real, that is going to be the new stable coin live now on the CELO blockchain. That is going to be a new savings pool operated on the Good Ghosting platform launching right after this call. And so that'll be on the Good Ghosting website. Go to the pools page. You will see those dual pools deploying here shortly. And so um, the Ghost is now also live for deposit on Aave, and that is operating on Polygon, Avogachi, Play to Earn, DeFi RPG, many different answers to what is Avogachi. And so you really just have to kind of take a moment to explore. Be careful. I promise the gacha is going to snatch you by the sleeve and you will be uh, taken in. And so then you won't get out. Just some quick review, the raffles for the closing pools that we mentioned earlier. And so for the Are We Ready pool and then the Unstoppable pool, those prizes are going to be scheduled for February 17th. 
we'll be holding our raffle at that time to distribute those prizes. We'll pick a time a little bit closer and make a, a full announcement and make everybody wear that for some runway. I just wanted to let you know. There are tons of things going on with our partners. I just could not fit everything into the hour here. And so here's, if you have the um, cheat sheet or the presentation pack on your local drive there as well, you can kind of review this at your pace and tempo, but here's kind of a good octopus view of everything that's going on that we're aware of. Good ghosting, I have the best job ever. Our job is to make good friends and be good friends. And so I just have to know what's going on, right? And so there's all kinds of upcoming mints specifically CeeLo NFT scene. You heard Camilla there, she says like 300 dApps over there on CeeLo. This is young. This is very, very, very young, early stage blockchain stuff. As such, you're watching the birth of some really early communities over there. So there's been some great NFT. Hey, K.O., uh, sorry to interrupt you. Uh, I think, yeah, we cannot hear you. Uh, so your audio just like went away. <laughs> yeah, I just want to take the time while K.O., uh, you know, tries to, to figure it out. Uh, just want to say thanks again for Camila, for Jesse, for joining us, for sharing all this wonderful, you know, news uh, and information about, you know, cereals. Uh, the Silo Foundation and also like all the exciting things that are coming up uh, at Avegachi. We are also like super, super excited, you know, to uh, figure out ways to integrate, you know, even more into like, you know, the metaverse uh, and, you know, with other uh, projects out there. So certainly, you know, really appreciate you guys, you know, taking your time uh, to join us. Uh, and also thanks for uh, everybody that, you know, actually, uh, took their time to join us and listen, you know, to our uh, community call uh, today as well. Uh, do we have K.O. back? What do you think? Is this any better? Oh, uh, yep. Now we can hear you. I, All right. I think I, honest, I think I burned out the mic. It, it, it was, it, we worked it too hard. It was just too much. It couldn't contain it. Man, did you guys hear any of the partner updates? Did we get any of that? Probably not, huh? Okay. Basically, no, yeah. read this. Basically, read this page. Okay. This will be in the presentation. We'll we'll publicize it on the Discord as well. But this is all of our mints that are happening across the system. Most of it is happening on Celo. Celo's young, and there's just tons going on in terms of community growth. Great NFT projects over there right now. Pay attention for Chinchillas. I think hands down the cutest project coming out on Celo right now. Celostrials is live in like a week. Sea Espresso's coming. Women of Celo are minting. Cybergins. If you haven't heard Cybergins, Cybergins is Celo Shapes. He did so well with Celo Shapes. He enjoyed it so much. He came back for more. And so he's created an umbrella project called Cybergens, and he's live with Celo Paints now. Nom Space has gone multi-chain. Did not see that one coming. They caught me off guard. They are ambitious. So pay attention to Nom Space. Lots of cool stuff there. And then on our Polygon side, Red Kite. Red Kite has their airdrop campaign live now. They are getting a ton of attention. We were in the Discord over there, less than 100 folks, and they're at 5,000 now. And so pay attention. They do have their airdrop campaign. You're going to be selecting a thousand lucky individuals for you to sign up. Check out their Discord. Matic Mike, the play, uh, the, the PVE part of his game. Right now it's been PVP Battle Royale and the dance off. And he is deploying contracts soon for PVE. So pay attention to that development. Last but not least, just a creative element. If you haven't checked out Make Lore, Make Lore is live on Polycon. They use GPT-3, really smart stuff here. They're, it's generative pre-chained text or something. Basically, they're using the AI to help with storytelling. And so it's a back and forth between you and, and the magic eight ball of the AI. And it's pretty creative and they have some generative illustrations. And they do that every Wednesday, 2 p.m. Eastern. They have a story jam. So do check that out. Last but not least, guys, um, honestly, we're, we're really kind of on timing here. I haven't seen too much in terms of questions. Let me just run through the chat log here real quick, make sure there's nothing too 
too crazy going on. How do we check what part? Uh, how do you check if you're part of the Red Kite NFT airdrop raffle? You go to the Red Kite Discord server and then go to uh, the channel listing called Rewards. If you check on Rewards, they have a step by step instructions there on exactly how to go through the process. If you haven't done that process, then you're not on the list. That much I can tell you. Okay. And then, other than that, um, if you've made it through this whole call, this is a treat of mine. Be experimental with me, right? Because that's what that's what the frontier is all about. Everyone knows about POAP. Everyone loves POAP. Everyone does POAP. These are called badges. Okay. This is a little bit different. It's like POAP, but it's not. It's badges. And so these are on the Polygon blockchain. They're NFTs that are created uh, to represent attendance to an event. So it's essentially just like POAP. What's a little bit unique is that they're operating on the Polygon blockchain and they cannot be transferred after they've been issued. And so once I mint this and give this to you guys, it is soul bound and there's no going anywhere with it. And so it's like that stamp on your hand at the club, but it's with permanent ink. And so everyone will know that you had something to do with this here. There is a Google form associated with it. And this is just an opportunity, honestly, for you guys to take a moment and let us know anything at all on your mind with good ghosting. There's a little bit of user feedback in there. We've got our team retreat coming up soon and, and we're gonna be distilling everything that we've been aggregating in terms of game suggestions, concepts, just feedback, problems and issues, bugs, everything. And so let us know anything on your mind in that Google form, but you'll also have to give me your wallet address in there so that way I know where I'm shooting this badge off to. There is a question in there. It's non-consequential, but I like to know that you're paying attention. There is a secret phrase in there. And so if you would just type in Real Gachis in there, that's going to be the perfect blend of uh, what we had going on here today. And so hopefully I see a future where we'll have, I don't know, Jesse, what, Haunt 7? And we'll be using the Real uh, uh, collateral in, in Super Ave Muda, and, and we'll just tie it all together. And so I'll drop that link in there, and you guys can use that Google form and get your badge. Do we have any parting thoughts? Just one last minute there. We have a little bit of time to kill. So Jesse or Camilla, just thank you again for being here. I'd love to hear from you one more time. Yeah, a great pleasure like to be here with your community. Thank you all for embracing Cello and for embracing Cello Hell and helping advance the mission of DeFi in this lovely country of Brazil and beyond. Uh, I'm happy to help energize further initiatives throughout like Latin America because it's uh, where I'm uh, the lead of. And if anybody wants to ask anything else, maybe not today, maybe in a couple of hours tomorrow after, please look for me on Twitter. Thank you, Keo. Thank you, Francis. And thank you. You're a beautiful community. Great. Like, likewise, uh, just thanks, everybody. This is an uh, awesome turnout tonight and uh, great to see Good Ghosting doing so well. Great to learn about what's going on with you, Camilla, and everything and um, these other chains that, you know, we're on Polygon. But we, uh, by our, by no means, are are only there. We want to be everywhere at at some point. Like you said, Kale, maybe uh, more haunts means more generations of Avagachis, and you never know where they'll they'll pop up. So um, thank you, everybody, and I can't wait. I hope everybody has a great savings experience on good ghosting, and some of you uh, will end up winning some great rewards denominated in GHST. Right on, with well, guys. Thank you all both so much I for being here. Well, go ahead, I Francis. Do have a fi I do have a final announcement. The pools are live, folks. So oh, please, man. Uh, <laughs> perfect so time there we today. Go. We got it right. <laughs> go, man. That, that, that cow signal worked. I knew it. That, so, yeah, that cow signal did the job. <laughs> so the pools page, you'll see the link there in the chat. So I'll, I'll leave the meeting up for a second just in case you need to grab those links. But there's a link there for the pools page. And so those new cello pools are live. There's also the link for the Google form. And so just complete that for us at your convenience. I'll leave it open for about 48 hours. And that way, in case everyone or anyone that was at work today or something that just hasn't had a chance to see it, we'll give them a little bit of a window before we make those badges a little bit more exclusive. So thank you guys very much for hanging out with us. Um, I'll leave this open for the time being, but I am going to go ahead and kill the record. We appreciate you being on the February community call, and I look forward uh, to just the crazy amount of progress that's obviously going to happen between here and the next one. So have a great day. Cool. Thank you, folks. We're good on the share, guys. If anyone wants to hang out and shoot the breeze, I'll hang out for a little bit. 
and we kind of go after hours. Um, but that's way everyone's free to go. We appreciate you. Just fill out the Google form and we'll get the badges to you probably in about the next 48 hours or so. That's what I'm hoping. It's a, a little automated, but a little manual. Thank you so much, everyone. Uh, have a good night, everybody. A good day, uh, depending on your time zone. Uh, really awesome to have you all here. Bye, guys. Thanks, everybody. Bye-bye. Mr. Aaron Ho, direct response there. I am definitely playing Acquisition Royale. I've been there since day one. I, I was <laughs> overly bullish, let's say. And so I've been paying attention. I will say I'm going to pitch for these hours in the future as well, because I love this. This is my evening. So this is super relaxed and right in my zone. Oh, Aaron, um, pro tips. I, okay. If you stuck around, right, you'll get to catch the alpha. So anyone playing Acquisition Royale, please don't use this to ruin our, our empires. Okay. But Acquisition Royale is definitely all about like contract management. You've got to check the block explorer. That is the whole key to the game is it rewards those that are technologically curious. If you open the block explorer and look up the acquisition Royale RP contract, that's kind of the pro tip. Take it, take a good look at that RP contract. Then it'll start to give you some examples of what is happening in the game mechanics. And I think from there, you'll kind of naturally lead to best mechanisms, but hands down straight, straight, um, like straight disclosure in this, they're highly unbalanced in my opinion right now. I don't think that they fully thought through the liquidity against the RP, which is the runway points, the acquisition royale currency. And so just be aware that the RP liquidity is a little uh, evolving situation. I think it's a little immature to be honest, and, and it's going to mature into something a little more balanced. So just be aware, please don't ape in all crazy. Yeah, exactly. That that day one, day two launch, the the RP ratio was was. Uh, I, thought, I thought I was gonna hit a home freaking run with that one because if the ratio held at all, wow, that was gonna be some really, uh, really productive enterprises. And that someone beat me to it because they they destroyed the RP market. It's one sided liquidity on Uniswap, which is unique that they're using that at Acquisition Royale. So, a plus for like ingenuity and, and exploration but like d minus for user experience because there's not enough liquidity on that single side and once it gets out of range the unit price goes to heck woody I, that is the uh, password there for you there's rail gotcha to use on the form the blending of the rail stable coin and the my my favorite nft currently in wallet Oh gosh, I started with a lot. Um, I was a floor sweeper. I like floor sweeping when I can, if it's something I, I enjoy. And so I think I had like 22 enterprises when the game started and did not understand the mechanics, didn't understand the liquidity situation, didn't understand the, the depth. And so I think it was a little bit reckless, but did a lot of mergings early on to condense and in retrospect, like today, I wished I had that Matic back if I had to be perfectly blunt, but it is what it is. And I got some good, I got some good enterprises. And, and if you are keeping up with the project, it does look like they think they're going to develop some really cool uh, expansion gameplay aspects to it. I saw, I saw a UI presentation that looked very like a earthbound or pokemon-esque so they may be trying to develop a small handheld game type circumstance it might make it a little more fun 
And and one day Prepo is going to launch. That's the important thing to remember is Acquisition Royale is just a game component of, of a DeFi protocol called Prepo. And Prepo is all about like um, pre PO, pre public offering. And so it's like buying future tokens, DGEN stuff, not, uh, not something that I'm endorsing or recommending, but certainly not against. It's just highly advanced and you got to do your own research when you're, when you're walking around in the DeFi jungle. Yeah, exactly. My pleasure, my pleasure. Cool. Man, this went really well. These badges, everything means nothing till it means something, right? They're not punks, but crypto punks for free, right? That's everyone's go-to. And so I'm very bullish on these Polygon badges. If you're a CELO only blockchain user and, and you've never been on Polygon, I am putting it to you to make that bridge crossing. I wanna, I wanna offer you the opportunity to figure out how to get on over here as well and live in both worlds. I promise you it's beneficial to have some, some time shifted ecosystems in, in, your, in your wallet as well. It makes sense. And so we're happy to help with like uh, onboard gas on a personal level, I can help with that. Celo and Polygon are both just so affordable that, that I can spot gas for individual community users. If you find yourself crossing Celo to Polygon and you're stuck on gas, hit me on the DM, same thing, Polygon to Celo, happy to help. <laughs> yeah, go go enjoy some of that cereal. Go enjoy some of that cereal. I think it's been long enough for the links to bin up. So I'm going to go ahead and wrap it out of here too. I do appreciate everybody hanging out with us. Good turnout. And it's going to make a good case for me to be able to, to pitch the evening hours in the future and, and be able to sleep in a little bit more on the morning side. So thanks for hanging out, guys. Um, I'm going to start probably hosting little office hours in the Discord, just little moments. If you see me in the lo-fi server, it means I'm working. And so if you see me in there listening to the lo-fi, I promise you I'm in there. Feel free to always just say something and let me know if you got any questions or comments or just want to hang out. Have a good uh, day. Have a good morning. Have a good afternoon and a good evening. All right, guys. See you later.